While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Today is a great and joyous day for a king has been born and the prophecy has been fulfilled. A baby, God's son, born to Mary, a gift to the world. God has truly blessed us as he shall be known as Jesus, Christ Emmanuel, Saviour of the world. When we think of gifts, we often think of time when we receive something particularly around Christmas time. But gifting to others brings a different kind of joy, especially seeing the smiles of happiness on our loved ones' faces. Receiving physical gifts is an honour and a privilege for us, as we know that so many children around the world wake up on Christmas morning without anything at all. While giving and receiving physical gifts is exciting, we should also remember that God has given each of us special gifts inside of us. Those gifts may be our talents are and our traits. Mothers are able to give words of wisdom when our friends are troubled or need advice. Some of us are able to give time and patience, making right choices, in, uh, resulting in making the world a better and kinder place. We can all use our gifts, no matter our background, race or beliefs. This year, people united all over the world to protest against racism and we saw a huge monumental shift in the human rights movement Black Lives Matter. While it was founded in 2013, it shook the world in 2020. It was a revolutionary moment for many all over the world. People use their gifts of communication to impart knowledge across the world of to, uh, as they work together to combat to systemic racism. In the same way that Jesus came to earth as a gift to right or wrong, spread joy, hope and peace to set an example. In the same way, many followed in his footsteps to contribute to bring about world peace. The greatest gift giving long ago wasn't wrapped in paper or, or tied in a bow. Jesus is the gift that fits perfectly in every heart and it's with him that the celebration starts. We rejoice in him as we remember his birth and thank God for gifting him to us on earth. God's only son sent from heaven and for given straight from his will. 